Okay, now we are going to work on matrix scalar multiplication, which again is when you have a constant out front and you're going to multiply it into every term of your matrix. First thing to note when you're doing this, the resultant vector is going to have the same dimensions as the starting vector, as this. So immediately I can eliminate answer choices A, B just because those don't have the right dimensions, right? I need a resultant vector that's two by two. So now um, I can go ahead and just start multiplying this in. So five times negative four would give me negative 20. And I immediately know my answer choice is E. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and go through the rest, but really I'm done. So you can see how quick these questions can be if you know how to do these operations on matrices. So if I wanted to keep going, I would do 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 0 is 0, and then 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Just confirming that the correct answer in this case is E. All right, moving on. All right, we have a, another scalar multiplication question. I'm going to do the same quick process of elimination. I know I'm looking for a two by two matrix, so I'm going to immediately eliminate A and B. Now I'm going to take four and I'm going to multiply it in. Four times negative one is negative four, and I immediately know that my answer choice is E. A quick note, something else we can talk about briefly is why the other answer choices are incorrect. If you notice this one, how they got all of these answer choices was they actually added these instead. So like four minus one is three, that's incorrect. Four plus two is six, that's incorrect. Um, for this one, it looks like they actually used division to try to trick you. So like negative one divided by four would give you this, or two divided by four would give you one half. Anyways, not necessarily relevant. Just remember when you are doing this, you are multiplying the four in and E is the correct answer. Moving on. All right, this is kind of a mixed review. This is where we're going to use two separate matrix topics. So here it says the two by two matrices A and B below are related to matrix C by the equation C equals two A minus three B. What is matrix C? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 2 into matrix A. I'm, because I'm paying attention to time, right, as we all know, timing is very important on the ACT and, of course, the SAT as well. I'm only going to look for this top number here. And I'm doing that because as I'm skimming these answer choices, I'm noticing that all of these are unique. So if I can get this first position correct, I should be able to already pick the correct answer choice. So I know in my resultant vector C, this position here, my row one, column one here, is gonna be given by two times this number. So two times three is six. And then I would do minus, three times this number. So minus three times negative four. Very important to not mess up on your signs when you're doing this. So this is gonna give me six, the two times three. Here, this is just personal preference. I like to just do the negative three times negative four to give me a positive 12. So I'm doing six plus 12 to get this position here, which would give me 18. I'm not even going to do the rest of my matrix. I'm going to skim my answer choices. Recognize that the correct answer is choice F. I would actually just for practice recommend you go through and do the rest of this. Um, but really you can see how quick these answer choices can be once you have these fundamental steps down.